On a cold winter day several years ago, I was attending a conference on campus, but away from my office. In the afternoon, I received a call from my colleague. Eric, you've got a visitor waiting outside your room, and he's been waiting for three hours. A visitor, I said. I've got no appointment today. But anyway, send him to the conference, and I'll meet him there. The visitor and I met outside the conference room. He's a tall guy with dark complexion, clean in on the local. You are my professor. I've traveled a long way. I'm very glad to meet you, the visitor said. However, I cannot recall this student. In fact, I've never met him before. Our conversations quickly reveal that this gentleman is from Morocco. He is one of the thousands of learners who have completed my massive open online course on edX. His name is Hisham El Falali, and he is the captain of the Royal Air Maroc, the national carrier of Morocco. He piloted a Royal Air Maroc 747 from Casablanca to Hong Kong for this trip. Wow, I'm trying to contain my surprise and excitement. General knowledge prompted me to ask further. Captain, you said you flew your flight from Casablanca to Hong Kong, but as far as I know, the Royal Air Maroc doesn't fly to Hong Kong. Captain responded, Professor, you're right. I flew our head of state here for an unannounced visit. And for that reason, I only have a 48-hour strategic window. And I hope I can learn more about how to conduct a knowledge audit as you have covered in your course. Oh my God! This has to be one of the most touching cases in my teaching career. I'm very moved. The rest is obvious. We spend time on the next two days discussing the knowledge audit techniques, introducing the captain to our students, and we did a tour of the campus before he piloted the entourage to return home later that week. We kept in touch, and apparently the captain has ably applied the learned techniques to carry out a knowledge audit with his team back home. I am my Captain El Falali's quest of knowledge flying half the world. It's really amazing. I'd like to thank hundreds of thousands of MOOC learners who have taken our MOOCs. I, of course, like to thank PolyU for giving me the opportunity to design and deliver these MOOCs, which not only have broadened my learning horizon, but also enabled me to improve my teaching skills for on-campus and online students. Well, that is my story. Thank you. Oh, before I go, 2022 is PolyU's 85th anniversary. There's a whole range of on-campus and online activities being planned all year round. I hope you can attend as many of these activities as possible and indulge yourself as a member of PolyU's extended learning community. Come, join us. I hope to see you there. Thank you.